Hey there, everybody. I'm Paradox, and welcome to Carpe DM Reboot. So, if you guys have not noticed, I've actually played this game before. Well, not this game. I actually played the very first game of this game. Basically, this is the second game that came out. I, I actually played the first game, which was called Carpe Diem. No, no reboot. And I believe this is like a continuation story to that st story. And if you guys don't know, this is a visual novel game where you play as a guy named Juno who talks to this girl. And in the end, it turns out that this girl that he's been interacting with is actually not real is an actually artificial intelligence and her name is i so this game there's actually more to it this year actually you can actually buy this in steam but you know i'm poor so i kind of download the free version of it online hey if there's a free one i'll get it i'm not gonna pay money because i'm cheap but don't say i i will still pay for the i will still pay for that uh the, I will pay for that uh, heart band. I'll pay for that game because that, that game deserves my money. So the first game of this was actually free. You can download it in Steam. This one you have to pay or you can find a free one online, which, which I did. But I won't leave a link to that because you guys can just find that for yourself because I'm not sure if that file is safe. So without further ado, let's start. So I believe this game has voice acting now. And that's new. There was no voice acting in the first game. So... Nothing lasts forever. Okay, so I don't have a voice, meaning my character is is a boy or a girl. I no, my character's name is Juno. And that's what I remember. Nothing. Okay. All moments eventually come to an end. People eventually leave your side. Feeling eventually fade away. Hey. Oh. Whose voice is this? Is it I? Because it's based. Because in the first game, it was just I and you. That, that sounds weird. I and me. It was just two characters. Being attached to something would just bring you pain in the long run. Hey! Uh, ch chill. I'm ch Girl, I'm monologuing. Don't stop me. So it, isn't it better to not bother dealing with anything in the first place? First place. First place. Young, are you listening? Oh no, his name is Young, not Juno. Oh no, I called him Jung before. Juno is from that game called My My Future Diary, which has the most horrible main characters in the in any anime I've ever watched. I'm not saying they're bad characters. They're actually really good characters. I like them, but I really hate them because the main characters are, the main character of that anime is so so stupid. All right, so let's begin. Uh, of course I am. Oh, so she's get Okay, I don't have to read her dialogue. I just have to read mine. That's cool. What was it again? You're dozing off. Are you tired? I, uh, not really. I'm sitting down, so... No, no, I'm not. That's the third time today already. Oh, I, I don't know if I like her voice. But oh well, I'll Tell take Tell me it. if you want to call it a day. No. Sorry, a random thought just came into my head. We can keep going. Yeah, a random thought contemplating about life just came into my head. I see. Anyway, look at this. What? She hands me a flyer. She might have grabbed it while I was daydreaming. It says something about fireworks event happening tonight. I want to see it. Oh. This is a public event. I'm aware. Which means there will be a lot of people. I don't like crowds, remember? Well, you gotta suck it up. Okay, I... <laughs> Fine! I'll, I'll suck it up, I... How about we just chill around here instead? Oh, come on. We've been walking around here for a few hours now. There's nothing left to see. You know, I wish she had a little more personality. Here, she feels so dead. Oh, come on. We've been walking around here for a few hours now. There's nothing left to see. At least give her like a little bit of Sundari voice like Oh come on! We've been walking around here for a few hours now! There's nothing left to see! Something like that! Come on! She grabs my arm and insists that we go wait. How? How? She's not real! Please? I let out a soft sigh. <sighs> Fine. 
It's true that it's better to actually go somewhere than to roam around aimlessly. We walk around the area where the event will be held. It's not far from here, but it's still a bit of a walk. I hope this music's not copyright, because that way I'm totally happy I didn't pay for this game. The sun was setting when we arrived. It's quite packed in the area, so we decided to climb up the hill. It's, that's so fucking tiring. It's less crowded here, and the view isn't bad either. We made it somehow. Just in time. I'm so excited to see the fireworks. Oh, now her personality comes out. Seriously. Oh, snap. What is it? We should have bought food on our way here. But you're a robot. <laughs> you're not real. Why does it matter? Well, I guess he built it to simulate a real person. So, yeah. You need to control your food urges. You'll get... Say it. I dare you. You get fat. Huh, you got fat! I can say whatever I want! You got fat, it's true! What does food do? They fill your stomach and make you fat! Th that's that's a basic thing! You get fat! I'm not afraid to say facts! Never mind. Oh. Jung, why is my character so pathetic? And I'm not confirmed yet if Jung is a girl or a boy. I mean, Jung can actually be a very sub uh, ambiguous name to genders. So we're not really sure. That was close. I thought I saw my whole life flash before my eyes for a second there. <sighs> She's an AI! How is she gonna hurt you? You can't trick me, I played the first game. Ooh, nice fireworks. I wish they were moving though. The event finally started. Not long after, fireworks filled the night. I've never been a big fan of these kind of things, but this is definitely nice to see. My eyes lock onto the sky, like the bright. Blah, my eyes lock onto the bright light shooting through the sky. I continue to stare at, as they erupt something so beautiful that I almost lose track of where I am. The loudly cheering crowds adds to the fun and exciting vibe, and I is just standing there here beside me, happily watching. The light illuminates her pretty face and reflects so clearly in her eyes. Everything at this moment is just so beautiful. It makes me wish that we could last forever. It's time. Yeah. She turns to me and gives me a melancholic smile. The atmosphere, the atmosphere was entirely happy and romantic. And romantic, just a view a second ago. The atmosphere was entirely happy and romantic just a few seconds ago, and suddenly becomes heavy. Yeah, I know this. I stop hearing the fireworks, the crowd, and everything else. I look her straight in the eye. I feel like I want to say something to her, but I can't find the right word. You know, I think you need to move on. Yeah, dude, you can't just... You can't just... You know, fall in love with a mechanical... Arti artificial intelligence. She's not mechanical if she's she has no physical form. Pathetic. Pathetic. That's she. It's pathetic that she's the one tell. What? What? It's pathetic that she's the one telling me this. Oh, it's pathetic. Okay. But as much as it, as it hurts, she's right. I can't keep going on like this. I don't know what to do. I mean, even if I did, I wouldn't know how or if I could even bring myself to do it. Well, I guess this is it for today. No, I. I. I, okay, this is very weird. I, I. Young, I understand, but you'll end up hurting yourself. Aww. After all, I'm just an artificial intelligence. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> I did not expect that. I just expected everything to just turn black, like tsk, like a TV turning off. Uh, have you heard of the Turing test? An evaluation of a machine's... Uh, yeah, I think this was in the first game. Whether it can act or speak like human would. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humanity, it will never be an actual person. Yep, she broke again. Just like I. 
No matter how good her program is, no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. We live in two different realities. Well, her reality is fake and virtual. She will continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. Just as I expected, the program lasts shorter and shorter each time. I stare at my monitor, feeling empty inside. I don't even know what to do or think right now. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I need. The only thing I know for sure is that I know I'm not giving up on this anytime soon. Oh. Dude, you gotta move on. You can't just fall in love with a robot. Good night, I. This has been a great Valentine's date. And you're doing this in Val- Oh my god, dude, you're so sad. Oh, this is sad. Until next time. And then that's the entire game. <laughs> no, apparently there's more because I kind of saw screenshots of different people. Reboot. Yeah, that's what the name's game's called. Reboot. Was I supposed to type something? Ugh. It's morning, I think. My room's completely enclosed. It isolates me from the outside world. I don't see the sun very often, but I can tell when it's up. The atmosphere is just different. No matter what it... No matter... Not that it matters, though. I glance at the clock, which I don't see anywhere in my room. It's 9 a.m. It's unusual for me to wake up this early. I slept for three hours, but for some reason, I don't feel tired at all. I'm full of energy to the point that I might be able to survive the entire day without eating. That's the cause of anorexia, by the way. There's an hour before the program starts up again. I go to the bathroom to take a nice shower. This is so sad. La la la! La 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 la! <laughs> I'm done, but there's still time to spare. I sit at the computer. Check money or email. Let's check our email. What? I I I'm kind of scared to see what how much money I have. I feel like we're very poor. It's been a while since I personally checked my email, and I usually leave it to I. But I got nothing better to do right now. Let's see. Thirty-one unread messages, all of which are work-related. Oh, that's a lot. I know. I is amazed when it comes to doing work, but it never fails to amaze me how she can handle this much. And she can even handle your work? Dude, I want this! I want this AI! I know... I don't know whether I should be proud of I or myself for making her. What are you doing? Oh, God. Whoa! You scared me. Don't just pop out of nowhere. Where else am I supposed to pop out of? Well, you could do like a warning, saying, Yo, I'll pop up for a second. Good point. Well? Well what? Do you need help with something? What can I help you with? Oh, nothing. I was just bored. How are the projects going? The same way they always do. I've noticed you've been ta taking a on more projects at the time now. Make sure you don't stress the system too much. It's fine. Trust me. The environment I rendered yesterday takes way more resources than doing a dozen projects at the same time. I suddenly freeze for a few seconds. Being reminded of last night made me a bit embarrassed I could not look at her. Are you okay? Yeah, I just can't look at you right now. No, I don't know. I look away but I can sense her gazing back at me. I'm sure she can tell what I'm thinking, and I want to ask what she's thinking, but I'm afraid what the answer might be. So, are you going to start working now? I shouldn't be bothering you. I was just thinking that. Okay then, I guess I'll go eat. Eat what? You don't have any food left here. What? Are you serious? I told you to buy groceries the other day, but you didn't listen. Oh, uh, what a pain. Well, I did say I had enough energy to last the rest of the day. I'll buy groceries tomorrow. Dude, that's procrastination. My stomach growls loudly. Why, stomach? Why have you forsaken me? I thought you had my back. No, no, no. Stomachs never have your back. I trusted you. I think you should go buy them now. 
Oh, wait, how did she hear that? Fine. I reluctantly stand up and walk up to my closet. I randomly grab whatever I see and throw it on. I look like a hobo, but I don't care. I'm going to be gone for a little while anyway. Ugh, I don't want to go outside today. Oh, by the way. She stops me before I leave my room. Your birthday is coming up, isn't it? No. Now that you mention it. She smiles at me. I bought some things online. I think they should be arriving soon. Dude! Can you make one for me? I want to have this. Well, actually, I'm not going to make her my girlfriend, duh. But, yeah, I want this purse. I want this AI in my computer. <laughs> what? You bought something with my money without telling me? Technically, it's my money, you know. What? Or what? Would you rather do these projects yourself from here on out? She got you there, bro. As much as I want to talk back, she got you there. She has a point. She did earn the money. But I made her right. Shouldn't it still be mine? No! No. It's like saying you gave birth to a child and then that child made money. And you're basically saying, Oh, my son's money is mine. That's not, that's not right. So, no. It's not your money since you didn't. You're not the one who got it. I don't know how this is supposed to work anymore. Alright, alright, fine. I wave goodbye to her as I step outside. Ah! Sunlight! No! Ah! The sun is shiny, shining brightly, but it's not particularly hot outside. If I had to think of words to describe, it would be... Ah. Uh, it would be... Ending the video! So anyways, I will end the video here. I'll continue this game. I don't know if there are like multiple endings, but I feel like there's just one ending. Because in the other game, there were multiple choices, but they were just pointless. It's just one ending. So right now, I'm going to end the video here. I'll continue this on in the next video. I, for now, I actually like it. I like the voice acting. I like the new colors, the new clothes she wears, because in the first one, she only had one clothes. And I hope there are more people instead of just I, you know, it's kind of boring just talking to I all the time. And I really hate my character for being, actually my character, this character kind of reflects me a bit, but I change. I've grown to a different beautiful butterfly. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up the like button to death. And as always, this is Paradox, signing out. Cheers, my friends. Quiet grace surrounds you and helps me find okay, my own. I can't tell you how you yeah. helped me nope. and how much I've I have grown. Works. Even though you're far away, inspiration comes from you oh. to shine a light.